Welcome to this video. We are going to learn how to describe particular types of graphs. Now the graphs we will learn to describe are graphs that level off. Okay, here's the experiment. Imagine I go into my backyard, right, there's green grass, I pick up the baseball, and I start throwing the baseball. And I want to measure how far I can throw it. But before I throw it the first time, I do two push-ups. And then before I throw it the second time, I do, uh, I do four push-ups. And then before my next throw, I do six push-ups. So I'm doing more and more push-ups each time. I'm increasing my fatigue. Well, as you can guess, as I increase my fatigue, as the graph goes to the right, what happens to the distance I throw? It goes down. You can't throw as far when you're tired. And here's what that shows. There's the graph. So again, follow my cursor, and as I increase the fatigue, right, the x values are increasing when you go to the right, the x-axis is increasing, what happens to the y values, the y-axis? The y values are decreasing. With an increase in fatigue, my throw distance goes down. Alright, let's describe that. This makes sense. The more tired I am, the shorter I can throw the ball at the shorter distance. But what happens at the far right? Look at this. When my fatigue is this big, right, this far over, I can throw the ball like a couple feet maybe. And when my fatigue is a little bit farther right, I can still basically throw it a couple feet. And over here, when my fatigue is even more, I can still throw it a couple feet. So there reaches a point where I can throw the ball a couple feet no matter how tired I am. No matter how tired I am, I'm always throwing at the same distance. And that makes sense, right? Even if I do a million push-ups, I can still throw the ball like a couple feet forward. That's not very hard. So here's how we describe it. As the fatigue, as the fatigue, the x value, becomes greater and greater, the farther right we go, the throw distance approaches a constant value and it ceases to change which just means it stops decreasing. It ceases to decrease or change. All right, what about this? Imagine instead of doing push-ups, I drink Red Bulls, and I look at how my distance depends on how many Red Bulls I've had. Okay, So the more Red Bulls I drink, the farther I throw. And that's what the graph shows. The more Red Bulls I drink, the farther I throw. But it levels off. There reaches a point where, even if I've had a billion Red Bulls, I can only throw it so far. Well, maybe if I have a billion Red Bulls, I won't be throwing. I'll be, I'll be in the hospital. Uh, I won't be throwing a ball. But you can imagine that even if I've had, like, a ton of Red Bulls, at some point, drinking another Red Bull doesn't help me throw the ball any farther. That's the idea. The general trend is, the more Red Bulls I drink, the farther I throw the ball. But... As the number of Red Bulls gets bigger and bigger and bigger, as you go to the very far right of the graph, my throw distance reaches a constant, and it ceases to change. It ceases to increase any further. There is a limit on how high, how far, I can throw the ball. And on this graph, you might say, there's a limit how short I can throw the ball.